Are you interested in visiting some of Europe's historically significant medieval towns? We have described some of the destinations in this video. If the clock has turned and you have been sent back in time, here are five of Europe's most stunning medieval cities to visit. Between the 12th and 15th centuries, Bruges was a sophisticated trading city, but by the early 19th century it had declined. Its subsequent rebirth as one of Europe's best preserved medieval towns has been spectacular. The medieval core of Bruges is simple to discover. Cobbled street lined with centuries old whitewashed cottages lead to flower filled squares. While the city is crisscrossed by a system of peaceful canals, a cruise on one of these is a fantastic way to see everything. The 15th century Belfort or Belfry, Bruges' unique bell tower is not to be missed. The climb to the top is 366 steps, but the sights are well worth it. The Market Plaza, which has hosted a vegetable market since the 10th century, is visible from the tower. San Gimignano, one of Europe's most beautiful medieval villages, is nestled among Tuscany's rolling vineyards. As you approach, 14 towers resembling early skyscrapers pierce the skyline. The towers were constructed between the 12th and 13th centuries and there were originally 72 of them. Want to know why? Because possessing a tower that was higher than your neighbors was considered a prestige symbol. Visit the inside of Collegiata, the cathedral, while roaming through the medieval streets, the frescoes representing scenes from the Old and the New Testaments date from the 13th century and are very stunning. Because of the serenity and quiet of its tiny streets and the lack of traffic, Medina is known as Silent City. The aristocratic town which was previously Malta's capital, is perched on a mountain top, surrounded by fortifications. Although Medina was constructed by the Romans much earlier, the cluster of buildings inside varies from medieval to baroque, monasteries, churches, cathedrals and stately old houses make up the architectural treasure love within the walls. Many of these homes were constructed by affluent families throughout the Middle Ages and have remained virtually untouched. Walled Obidos was founded around 308 BC on a hilltop slightly over an hour's drive from Lisbon. What you see now is mostly the medieval area, which has been well conserved and is surrounded by crenellated ramparts that snake across the slope with large majestic castle atop. A jumble of whitewashed dwellings and antique churches with warm terracotta roof tiles, some of the buildings painted with jaunty colors of blue and yellow are clustered inside the walls. Obidos, one of Portugal's most beautiful towns, is a destination to get lost in. Stroll the streets Peering inside the Ijrega de Santa Maria church to see the stunning 17th century Azulios tiles. Climb the stairs at Porta da Villa or the 13th century castle, which is now a luxury hotel, and walk the mile long perimeter of the Moorish walls, which were built between the 7th and 11th centuries. Dubrovnik is beautiful, but it wasn't always that way. The old city was extensively destroyed during the Balkans conflict in the early 1990s. Many of today's terracotta roofs have been meticulously restored. On three sides, the shimmering Adriatic encircles a jumble of baroque buildings 
shining limestone lanes and bell towers. Visit the Franciscan monastery of Stradun, the magnificent major boulevard. The tranquil courtyard is surrounded by 14th century cloister shaded by orange trees. Inside, antique paintings depict Dubrovnik before the 1667 earthquake that destroyed the city. Here we are at the end of the video. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned new things. If you want to know more about other interesting destinations, you can subscribe to our channel because we always come up with the great places to visit. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.